Welcome to our series of videos addressing some commonly asked questions and nutrition facts. So today we're asking the question, is vitamin D really that important? Well the answer to this question is yes, absolutely it is. Vitamin D is involved in so many different processes in our body and this makes it a really vital ingredient we need to get. Now, by far the greatest way of getting vitamin D is through exposure to the sunlight. And what happens is when UVB rays touch our bare skin, it triggers a reaction in our body which helps make vitamin D3. Now, it's worth bearing in mind that if you are darker skinned, you have to spend longer in the sunlight to get your vitamin D levels. Now obviously we do have a problem in the UK with the amount of sun we can be exposed to with our weather. So this has in fact led to quite a serious deficiency of vitamin D amongst people in the UK. So much so that the Department of Health actually recommend that adults and children over the age of one take 10 micrograms of vitamin D daily, especially in the autumn and the winter months. Now, you can get vitamin D in your diet, but only in very small amounts, not really enough. But food sources include oily fish, such as mackerel, sardines, anchovies, etc. Mushrooms, as long as they're grown in the sunlight, and egg yolks. So what does vitamin D do? The main things that vitamin D is associated with are bones and immune health. Vitamin D enables the absorption of calcium from our diet, which obviously helps to maintain strong bones and also strong teeth. It also helps support the normal function of our immune system. So it helps our cells fight bacterial and viral infections. But it's also important to consider that both an overactive and an underactive immune system are equally problematic. So what vitamin D does, it promotes a balanced response, a balanced immune response, rather than any kind of extreme immune response. It's also been researched with relation to skin health and mood. Studies found that low vitamin D levels are correlated with a higher incidence of depression. So what's the best form of vitamin D to use in a supplement? You should always look for vitamin D3, also called cholecalciferol, rather than D2, which is called ergocalciferol. This is because D3 is much better absorbed and D2 tends to be a cheaper um, form that's included in supplements. The source is also important to consider, so vitamin D can be sourced from sheep's wool, which is called lanolin, or it can be sourced from algae. Obviously if you're vegan or if you're avoiding animal products, then always go for a vitamin D that's sourced from algae. Feel multivitamin contains D3 sourced from algae, so it's vegan and cruelty free. If you have any more questions for us, please comment below and please click to subscribe and check out wearefeel.com for more information at the blog.